Hello there, and welcome to the final day of, uh, what is this, Grilling Week. Grilling Week on the live cast. We've done Grilling Week before. We started with the tri-tip. Then we did the, what, Max? Quesadilla. The quesadilla with the goat cheese, the red onion, and the grilled corn. So good. And now we're doing a little dessert thing. And here's the lineup of ingredients. One, two, three, four ingredients. I guess it's pretty simple. Sugar, butter, pineapples, and rum. To get a sense of where we're going here, ladies and gentlemen. Hold for the coffee machine. Watch it clean itself. Is he kidding? Okay, uh, we start by, we're gonna make a little rum sauce first that we're gonna baste on the pineapples as we grill. It's gonna be so good. Little pot on the stove, and away we go. Start with basically one stick of butter. I know it looks like a lot, it's gonna be good. You're gonna be able to store it in the fridge and keep it and use it another day. Cup of sugar. <laughs> That's right. I completely guessed on that, but I think it's going to be fine. Let those two start to melt together a little bit, and then we add the rum. So I'm using my favorite spoon with these little holes in it that I love. And now that it's almost there, some rum. I'm going with the dark, and I'm going to use maybe two tablespoons. And let's see how this does. I can tell you from here in the heat, it certainly smells good. So we just let it melt and then sort of simmer a little bit. It's going to thicken up a tiny bit. This on top of the pineapples with the ice cream that we're going to put and the powdered sugar. It's going to be ridiculous. And isn't that what this is about, ladies and gentlemen? Don't you want food that people go, my God, Jeremy, this is ridiculous. In the good sense, of course. Okay, so let's taste it a bit. You always have to taste. It's nice and kind of syrupy, which is great. Let's see how it tastes. Tastes like it needs more rum. I don't want it too boozy. I'm moving this up to four tablespoons, but I do want I do want there to be no question that there's rum in there. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can't taste it, then why put it in? Okay, so our pineapples are now drained, sir. Could do that again. Okay, our pineapples. Look, you could use a. You could use a fresh pineapple. Take the sides off, core out the middle, and you'd be fine. I just think it's easy to keep these guys in the fridge, and then they're there last minute. This takes what, two seconds to make? This you should be able to make it almost any time. You've always got butter, you've always got sugar, and now keeping these guys around, you've always got pineapple. So it's going to be good. All right, that's done. I'm taking this off the heat. This is ready. We take our pineapples, we take our little rum sauce that we made, we head outside and well, it's magic from there because we're just grilling. Let's go. If you've watched this show for any amount of time, you know that Perch sponsors us. Theperch.com on the internet, kitchen, bath, outdoor, amazing. It, it, look, it's this simple. You walk into one of their stores, you go, oh, I need a sink. You walk into one of their stores, you're like, oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before. You think I'm making this stuff up because they're a sponsor of the show. Oh no, I'm not making it up. It is the way it happens. You'll be blown away. Go to theperch.com, check them out on Facebook. You'll love them like we love them. It's an amazing store, amazing store. Okay, so 
generally, uh, I subscribe to the theory that says you don't put like a sweet sauce on something that you're grilling until near the end because it can flare up, it can burn, and you won't get a chance to have it cook all the way through before the outside. Or it'll burn on the outside before you get a chance to cook it all the way through. Make sense? But in this case, the pineapples are, well, they're already cooked. I mean, they're natural. They don't need to do anything. So I'm actually going to give them a little dunk in here, right? Into the little rum sauce first. And yes, that hurt like shit. That's very hot. And then I'll throw them on. Okay, so let's just give them a little, like 90 degree, right? Oh, it's very hot. So now just a little more on here. Nice smell out here. Pineapple grilling, the sweetness of this rum thing going all over it. And now we flip. That's gorgeous. That's exactly what you want. Look how pretty that is. Hello, fellas. Wow. That's amazing, huh? It's really smoky. The expression that I use, heat changes things, is a perfect example. Pineapple, out of either out of a can or cut out of a pineapple itself, delicious. But when you take that same piece of pineapple and you put it on the grill, the marks, the heat, the flame, they do amazing things to it in a changing way that is so spectacular you just can't believe it. You got to do this. So a little more basting on this side, in we go, and then we'll plate it up and show you how gorgeous it will be. If you go to thecookingguy.com and the website is mostly black, that's the old website. If you go to thecookingguy.com and it's mostly white, that's our brand new website. And we built it using Squarespace. Squarespace.com is the site builder for regular people that makes it super simple. You don't have to know Java and HTML and all that crazy nonsense that people with glasses and tape in the middle and pocket protectors know how to do. Or people wearing fedoras that live in the Ukraine. Regular everyday people can make a site look gorgeous like our site either does look or will look very soon. Check them out online, squarespace.com. If you buy the service for as little as $8 a month, yes, you can be up and running for as little as $8 a month. Put my name Sam in the little checkout box, you'll get 10% off. And who doesn't like that? Squarespace.com, they're fantastic. They'll make you look good, and they're making us look good, so try them out. Okay, so here they are. Come look at these guys. But this is not what we're doing with them. Here's what we're doing. Shit, I forgot. My I forgot my sauce outside, sorry. Okay. It's pretty hot. So here's what we do. Watch this. We're going to take, we're going to stack three of them. Uno, dos. Tres. <laughs> I love them. Powder sugar, sorry. I didn't know they had the camera on me. Um, ice cream. And a little tiny scoop. But first, I want to put a little bit of the sauce like in the little moat around the edge so when you dip in, it's there waiting for you. And a little bit in the center. Okay, now the ice cream. Ready? Hold on. 
that guy. And look how gorgeous that is. And the taste test, pineapple. This beautiful little simple rum sauce, a little bit of ice cream. <laughs> it's mental. Wow, the cool of the ice cream with the warm of the sauce and the pineapples by itself is fantastic. But now the little sweet and the rum and the just stop it already. Stop being so good. This is simple. And make the, make the sauce a day before, two days before, whatever. Then bring it out, warm it up in a pot, and then you can whip out to the grill and do your thing. This is fantastic. It's ridiculous. It's so fantastic. All right, that's it. Thanks for being here. Check out our sponsors, perch.com, uh, weolive.com, badpickletees.com, and squarespace.com. They're there for us. You be there for them, and then... We'll all be here for each other. Thanks. Have a good weekend. New shows Monday. See you next week.